Thanks for tuning in. I'm Karen Lair with a look at the top news headlines for Sunday, February 23rd. Tonight, newly obtained security footage from September shows JJ Vallow playing with a friend just a week before he was withdrawn from school and never seen again. The footage obtained by our partners at East Idaho News is from a neighbor's ring doorbell camera dated September 17th and could be the last image of the seven year old before his disappearance. According to court documents, the image helps piece together a timeline of his last known whereabouts. Just a week later, the boy's mother, Lori Vallow Daybell, withdrew JJ from school, saying she would homeschool him. As Six on Your Side has reported, police conducted a welfare check on November 26 at the request of JJ's grandparents. And according to authorities, that's when Lori said JJ was staying with a friend in Arizona. According to an affidavit, when authorities contacted that friend, JJ was not with her. Lori and her husband Chad Daybell fled Idaho just one day after that police visit. The couple resurfaced in Hawaii where Lori was taken into custody on Thursday and faces multiple charges including two felony counts of desertion and non-support of a dependent child. The mother of the two missing siblings is being held on $5 million bail and fighting extradition. Her next court appearance is scheduled for March 2nd. Just today, East Idaho News published a deep dive into the religious circle surrounding the Daybells. You can read it right now on our website, sixonyourside.com. Well, it's time to prepare your taxes, and many homeowners are leaving money on the table. Idahoans over the age of 65, for example, qualify for a property tax reduction, but they are not alone. There are several qualifications, including anyone who is a former prisoner of war or who is blind. Ada County officials are hoping anyone who qualifies will apply for the relief. Only 50% of the people who would be eligible for this benefit, they actually are taking advantage of it, which means 50% of the people are not taking advantage of that. There are some restrictions, including income. You must also be a U.S. citizen or legal permanent resident and own and live in your home by April 14th. To read the fine print, just click on this story on sixonyourside.com. Well, if you need help with your taxes this year, AARP is offering some free assistance at several sites around the Treasure Valley. You do not need to be an AARP member or a retiree to take advantage. It is available to anyone. The tax preparers are all IRS certified and there are at least seven locations where the tax aid will be available. We have information on our website. Just head to sixonyourside.com. Now, Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side Forecast. Well, after hitting an afternoon high of 58 degrees on Sunday afternoon, things changed pretty dramatically with a cold front moving through some strong winds associated with this front. High wind warnings remain in effect for most of southwestern Idaho through 2 a.m. on Monday and some snow flying in the mountains. Snow showers will continue in some places. The farther north you go, the higher the likelihood. After that, a couple of breezy days and then high pressure starts to build in around the middle part of the week. By Wednesday, we're back to the 50s and by Friday, Afternoon highs in many Treasure Valley locations could hit 60 degrees, but only 45 for your Monday after a low of 28 degrees, a chilly 24 to start the day on Tuesday and up to 47. There we are back to the 50s on Wednesday and Friday's forecast high for Boise 60 degrees. Temperatures cooled just a bit over the weekend. For the latest news headlines and up to the minute forecast, go to sixonyourside.com.